And those COVID cases among children are rising because of this Delta variant. But health officials are now saying it's not the main illness leading to kids being hospitalized. This is where we start tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brooke Lennington. KSNT News reporter Kelly Peltier joins us live now from Topeka Stormontvale Hospital. So Kelly, what are doctors seeing in kids right now more so than COVID? Brooke, Dr. Fuad Medlij works here behind me on the pediatric unit at Stormont Vale Hospital. He says while they have had some kids here sick with COVID, he says mainly patients on his floor are because of RSV and rhinovirus. Both of those are respiratory illnesses that typically impact children two years old and younger. The vast majority of the patients we're admitting are rhinovirus and RSV and not COVID. In a typical year, Dr. Fuad Medlij at Topeka Stormont Vale Hospital says rhinovirus and RSV are very similar respiratory illnesses that get transferred through droplets and touch that starts in November and ends in April. But this year, they're seeing a surge in pediatric cases months ahead of what they're used to. So we went from 24 in January to 86 in June and then to 135 in July. He credits social distancing and other COVID restrictions for keeping RSV and rhinovirus cases low, but says he noticed after restrictions loosened, cases started ramping back up more than ever, sending toddlers and infants to his floor the most. It plugs up their noses, it plugs up their small airways. A lot of them end up on oxygen. A bunch of them need suctioning around the clock. Some of them end up in the PICU. So far, he says COVID treatment in that age group has not been nearly as extensive in comparison to RSV and rhinovirus. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association, just over 4 million children across the U.S. have gotten sick with COVID. That's roughly 14 percent of all cases. Out of those numbers, 0.1 percent to 1.9 percent of child cases resulted in hospitalization. 0 percent to 0 0.03 percent resulted in a child's death. Health organizations that contributed to the studies categorized a child ranging from 0 to 20 years old. Dr. Medlij says he's not brushing off COVID, but believes it's important people know it's not the only respiratory illness out there right now resulting in hospitalizations. We have to address the seasonal viruses, mostly RSV, because that's the one that in kids aged two years and below is really the big troublemaker. He says there really is no way to prevent RSV or rhinovirus, but the best way to protect others around you is to keep your kids home and yourself if you're feeling symptomatic, especially a runny nose and fever. Reporting live in Central Topeka, covering local news that matters, Kelly Peltier, KSNT News.